Hey guys, welcome to a lip swatch video. I'm reviewing and swatching a brand spanking new lip product launch. This is from Marc Jacobs and this is the box that it came in and this says right here Marc Jacobs and Le Marc Liquid Lip Crayon. This is a not a limited edition product and it's not exclusive to any particular retailer so you can i think this is a widely available product wherever mark jacobs beauty is carried you'd be able to find this product um as the name suggests it says liquid lip crayon this product by the way is marketed heavily on social media um now lip crayon is if you think about it it's like a traditional lipstick creamy lipstick in the form of a in, in a crayon packaging but liquid lipstick is a whole different product so the way they market this is like a fusion lip product they say that it has the creaminess and the um, ease of wear like a traditional lipstick but also has a fluidity uh, with respect to pigmentation like a liquid lipstick so they say that they this is like a very innovative formula where they've combined the great uh, crazy pigmentation of a liquid lipstick and also the comfort uh, level and wear of a traditional lipstick so this is the way they market it at least it's like this is a fusion product so I was very interested in it so I picked it up I also wanted to compare this with a brand new lip crayon launch from a different brand this is from Laura Mercier um, this is their extreme matte hang on I have the box for Laura Mercier this is the Velo Extreme Matte Lipstick. This is also a lip crayon. This also boasts of crazy pigmentation and similar things. So I wanted to compare this. First, let's talk about the Marc Jacobs because this is a video dedicated to this product. So let's talk about this, do lip swatches, and then also I wanted to compare it with this. Now, I do have an exclusive um, review video and swatch video on this particular product. It's up on my channel. If you're interested do check it out uh, you'll be able to get a better idea as to how they to perform but i will compare them and compare and contrast both the products because they are both lip crayons they are also priced very closely mm, the mark jacobs is 26 dollars whereas the laura mercy is 28 and um, i think you get two grams of product in mark jacobs and laura mercy you get 1.5 so first let's talk about the mark jacobs one and then we'll compare it with the Laura Mercier one. So uh, the Marc Jacobs one, as I said, it's not limited edition, not exclusive to any particular retailer. Uh, the amount of shades that you get here is not very wide. There are 10 shades in total. Um, the Laura Mercier is definitely more of a wider range. You get 24 shades. The Laura Mercier, you have a better wide selection of colors to choose from. The Marc Jacobs, definitely you have very limited shades, 10 shades, but I think they, let me quickly check the colors, whether they are more, they lean towards the nude side or more colorful side. To be honest, looks like they have a good variety. They have a reds, pinks, uh, some darker nudes, and also there's actually, it looks like they have a black, deep Chinese black it's described. So it's definitely not as a, a broad, variety that you see in Laura Mercier but there is a good good shade range to choose from so uh, $26 you get two grams of product that's 0 0.07 ounce of product and where are these made these are made in Italy I think the Laura Mercier is made in Germany yeah these are made in Germany guys yes the Laura Mercier on the box I'm reading it from the box Laura Mercier is made in Germany and the Marc Jacobs is made in Italy guys and then it says just uh, that small information and small description just of the product from the side of the box it says liquid lip in a stick one swipe color 16 hour lux lux long wear and that's just in in different uh, languages so yeah that's it you guys and they do have the list of ingredients at the side of the box so yeah that's all the information we get from the box now out of the 10 i have five to show you guys um the shade drawing range was only less and it was 26 dollars so i thought i'd try and check out many shades um so i have five to show you guys uh so the packaging wise both are crayons both the mark jacobs one and 
the Laura Mercier one and both are color coded in a way uh, for example the, the Laura Mercier at the bottom you see that it uh, has the color a depiction of the shade the lipstick color that you get in inside and then the, the Marc Jacobs has this kind of um, circle going on around the cylindrical packaging so that definitely like gives you a rough idea of what the lipstick looks like inside so yeah so this is, doesn't exactly like click or anything when you close it so that does i don't like uh you know uh, packaging like this where i'm not sure whether I've securely closed it or not because many times I, I would have just closed it like this and it would just be open when i look into my purse and the lipstick would have just smeared all on my purse so i don't like packaging like this because there is no clicking or anything you just have to keep pushing it until you like uh, and you will have to check so not something that i really like it says here snap shut um so yeah and then so you'll have to just pull it open and then it down here it like tells you the color uh, name and then how much product you get i think uh yeah you, the amount of product you get and and the fact that it's made in italy so yeah this is also twist up like pencil crayon a lot of the colors came slightly broken a lot of the colors like not completely like crumbled or melted but they were all slanted a little bit so this color also came slanted do you see it's like moving so yeah mm, i think yeah you, ju you can just uh, if you want more product just twist or if you don't like twist the other side so that's pretty much the packaging guys now with respect to uh Laura Mercier this is also a twist up lipstick uh, and the packaging I like that it like clicks so that's definitely we know if we securely closed it or not and it's also a twist up pencil as you can see but it also comes with a sharpener a plastic sharpener it doesn't have any blade or anything so this is just the sharpener is not meant to um, bring more product outside for that you already have the twist up uh, mechan me mechanism uh, but for this this is just meant to sharpen the tip if you want to have that very uh, if, if you want to effectively contour your lips with it so it does come with a tiny plastic uh, like a sharpener kind of a thing and then so it does give you the advantage or not advantage I think it just gives you the um, option of just use this as a twist up crayon or just uh, also sharpen it if you want to if you want that very uh, pointy pointed tip um, so but this the Marc Jacobs one just has you just have one option of twisting it so yeah so far I think that's all we have you so you get um, two grams of product for $26 so the Marc Jacobs and the Laura Mercier you get 1.5 for 28 so two dollars more with the Laura Mercier and 0.5 grams less when you compare it with this. So let's get swatching, guys. Um, let's try this. What is this called? Pink straight. Oh, before I forget, the finish is not straight up matte. Oh, wait. That's crazy pigmentation, guys. The finish is not straight up matte. Uh, it has this um, pearlized finish. What Marc Jacobs calls it is ghost pearl which is just a pearlized finish guys it just has a very very micro fine uh just very finely milled pearl it just gives that very it it just gives that sheen it kind of looks matte but with a slight sheen to it so all of the shades in this in the Marc jacobs uh liquid lip crayon line all of them have the sheen so this is pink straight um Let's just watch this. That was the quickest lip swatch, if you ask me. At least for me, in uh, out of all the lip swatch videos I've done, this is. Guys, have you guys used a fountain ink pen? Have you guys seen how fluid and how the ink just flows through the nib that's how this is guys the 
it's just the soul fluid the pigmentation and the lip product the the actual lip crayon it just glides on it's just like I'm applying something liquid uh, the pigmentation is really good but more than that the way it just glides on your lipstick wait on the lipstick glides on your lips is just unbelievably smooth I'm guessing there's a lot of uh, silicone or dimethicone in. let's just quickly check Oh yeah, I'm right. <laughs> the first ingredient is dimethicone and then you have silica and then synthetic wax. So this product is loaded with um, dimethicone, guys. It does. It's not slippery, but it just glides across the lips so beautifully and it is also very pigmented. So yeah, that is the shade Pink Straight. Um, so yeah, let's first lip swatch and then I will tell you guys about the differences and the formula and everything. Before I forget, when I'm lip swatching the Laura Mercier one, lip crayon, it doesn't, it, it is really pigmented. Let me just swatch that tiny bit. As you can see, it's crazy pigment, one swipe pigmentation, but uh, there's a little bit of friction when I'm applying it. It doesn't like glide on and just like, it's not as smooth and not as fluid as the Marc Jacobs one. So yeah, that is pink straight and let's, everything is falling down. Let's get rid of that. And I don't feel the sheen that they have and the micro pearl that it has, it's like different colors. The micro pearls match the base lipstick color in all of the shades that I picked up. So it's not like multi colored or anything like that. Um, it's just a subtle, beautiful pearlized look. And then this is a red shade, described as a red shade, which is called How Rouge. But I feel it has this coral tone to it. Don't you guys think it has this coral tone to it? It's not the straight up red, I feel. Let's just swatch it. I just want to swatch it completely without ever taking my hand or off. Let's see if I can do it. Yep. That was pretty quick, right? I really like the way it glides on, guys. It just reminds me of a fountain pen. Um, so yeah, that is that. Wait, let me just move the colors that I've already swatched to one side. So that is how rouge. Again, very pigmented, as you can see. And I hope you can see the the way it catches the light. Whereas this is so flat. Although I I have swatched it on this side where there's a slight curvature in my palm. But still, there is, this is just flat. And as you can see, this is also transfer proof. These also, once they set, they are almost transfer proof, guys. These as well. So both lip crayons are almost, although they're not marketed that way, they are, once they set, they, they're almost, I would say like 98% transfer proof. There's very little transfer. So this is how rouge. So let's take it off. outside my lip line so let's swatch this color this is my favorite actually out of the lot this is called burn notice and this is this burnt brown orange uh, this came broken as well as you can see there's a slight tilt there and this is like this beautiful rust shade so beautiful right such a stunning color guys Let's see if I can do that again. I don't want to take my hands off the list. That's it. They're completely pigmented. I don't have even a single spot left. Um, it's totally pigmented and, and covers my natural lip color does not come through at all. It's a beautiful color guys. Again, this is burn notice out of the colors that I've chosen. This is such a unique shade. Then we have two more left. Now this, let's do this maybe first. This is framboise or framboise. So that is that color. It's like a beautiful warm toned fuchsia shade I feel, right? It's a warm toned fuchsia shade.
again so fast I, I just just few seconds I think it's less than two seconds I took less than two seconds to swatch this so that is from Wa. it's a beautiful warm fuchsia shade and then finally this is plum and get it's like a plum shade they say but looks like it's more deeper but let's see how it is and I will do a kiss test um, once it sets although they are transfer proof they are in a like a crayon form so there is a little bit of creaminess to them so I want them to set a tiny bit before I do a lip uh, like a kiss test and show you guys yeah you guys that is the final shade and this is called plum and get more than plum i feel it's more of a pinkish berry shade so those are the shades that i got wait i did i swatch this no it's, looks like i have only five four colors now i have five um i picked a lot of pinks i think one two two three pinks and this is such a beautiful burnt orange shade like a rust shade so those are the colors guys now let's talk about the formula of the Marc Jacobs one and then I'll move on to the and, and then I'll compare it with the Laura Mercier now Marc Jacobs as I said it truly as they say it has a fluidity of a liquid lipstick it's just so brilliantly fluid it just glides on your lips as I as you guys saw as you guys witnessed it just took seconds to just completely swatch my lips and I have fuller lips so imagine if you have much smaller lips it's just going probably you'll just finish in half a second so uh, the way they glide on the lips is beautiful and they as I said it takes a few seconds for it to set and once it sets um, it does not like budge to be honest yeah I guess it doesn't budge it's not like as a liquid lipstick but it beautifully sets and there's very very little transfer guys to the point I'm talking about easily seven hours of wear that's how I'm talking that's how long I'm talking without any touch-ups with drinking so um, the longevity is great they are truly long-lasting as Marc Jacobs beauty claims very long lasting total pigmentation not streaky at least the color up uh, now I have five out of the out of the ten so I think that's a good um, number to to make an assessment so they are completely pigmented they just glide across the lips not streaky now with respect to if they are moisturizing or not uh, since they are like loaded with dimethicone I feel initially when they uh, when, when I apply them and when I press my lips together there's this little bit of slipperiness slight slipperiness meaning it the lip product doesn't move out of the, the lip line but there's a little bit of slipperiness with in the on the lips when I press my lips together but after a few minutes that slippery that that uh, silicone texture completely like disappears and get, and has this more of a extremely weightless light not even lightweight I would call it weightless weightless powdery uh, feel um, now if you already have uh, moisturized and prepped your lips I, I don't think this lipstick would mm, make your lips feel dry after even after I would say six or seven hours of wear but if you haven't prepped your lips if they are like dry or have like dry patches to begin with I don't think this lip crown would moisturize it so I feel the Marc Jacobs uh, formula is neither moisturizing nor drying it's just it just stays put on your lips the pigmentation is solid but uh, I don't feel it really moisturizing uh, so if you haven't prepped your lips and if your lips are dry when you're applying this product I think this formula will keep your lips dry it's not going to moisturize it or anything um, but with respect to longevity it's great as I said let's try and do that lip um, my that slippery dimethicone feel is gone away so let's see do you see it's almost nothing let's do another one but the pigmentation is just the same as I applied it first so um, 
almost nothing guys these are almost transfer proof in fact even uh, liquid lipsticks that claim to be transfer proof you would end up even getting more product on the lips on the on the hands or if, if you're like drinking out of a bottle or a cup or, or a glass or whatever you will like experience transfer so although they don't claim these to be transfer proof these are almost transfer proof so is the Laura Mercier one they are also almost transfer proof once they they don't have that slippery silicone texture they definitely have a little bit of friction when I'm applying them they are crazy pigmented and this the finish as I said has a pearlized finish the Marc Jacobs one whereas the Laura Mercier one has this flat matte velvety finish it's beautiful guys on the lips so i think they are a little bit different the finish is the Marc jacobs one is pearlized the laura mercier one is like flat matte now i feel the laura mercier one is more moisturizing with respect to the formula because no matter how many hours i wear this particular lip crayon when i press my my lips together although they are like almost transfer proof when i press my lips together there's a tiny bit of tackiness uh, like even after like hours of wear I would say six to seven hours of wear still I would experience that tiny bit of tackiness when I press my lips together and I feel that like kinds of kind of keeps my lips moisturized so I feel the Laura Mercier one is kind of more moisturizing than the Marc Jacobs one but both are crazy pigmented so yeah I think I covered everything let's just summarize it let me let's see if I remember and if I summarize everything so pigmentation wise guys they are both crazy pigmented but the Marc Jacobs one has is loaded with silicone so it they are just extremely fluid and they just glide across the lips whereas the Laura Mercier one there's a there's definitely friction when you apply it and um, what else the pigmentation is great now the finish the Marc Jacobs one has this pearlized finish all of the 10 shades have pearlized finishes uh, the Laura Mercier one gives that flat velvety matte finish just completely flat and both are almost both are actually exactly the same with respect to the transfer proof aspect of them they are like almost transfer proof tiny bit of transfer uh, with respect to comfort level I think the Laura Mercier one is a little bit more comfortable because it, it has this tackiness uh, that like just stays in on, on your lips if you have the Laura Mercier on your lipstick, not Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier lip crayon on your lipstick, on your lips, oh my god, I need to focus. If you have the Laura Mercier lip crayon on your lip, there's a tiny bit of tackiness throughout the wear time. So I feel that really keeps the lips moisturized, whereas the Marc Jacobs one, since it has that silicone uh, texture, initially there's a tiny bit of slip but once it sets it just feels very powdery and it's almost weightless so i feel the Marc jacobs one is neither moisturizing nor drying and uh price wise i think we've covered everything right yeah price wise Marc jacobs is two dollars less this is 26 and laura mercier is 28 and the Marc jacobs one you get two grams Laura Mercier you get 1.5 grams so price wise price to um, uh, quantity I think this is definitely a good deal Marc Jacobs one so I guess it's a matter of what you like and what you want out of lip crayon um, I just feel that both are like best of both worlds both give the creaminess have, has a creaminess of a lipstick but they kind of have also the fluidity in a way this definitely is doesn't have silicone maybe maybe it does i don't know i haven't checked the ingredients list um at least the dimethicone is like the fifth ingredient actually on the laura mercier one whereas dimethicone is the first ingredient on the Marc jacobs one so definitely these are more fluid but both are crazy pigmented so yeah you guys but you do have uh, 24 shades in this line uh, the, the Laura Mercier line but you have only 10 shades of Marc Jacobs and both are not limited edition and both are not exclusive to any particular retailer Whew. I think I managed guys I think I've said everything I wanted to say um, yeah hope you guys found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe bye